Yo, yo, yo guys, how's it going? Today we have an awesome, exciting video for you where we are going to unbox the limited edition Project Scorpio Xbox One X. Oh yes. Before we dive inside the box, let's have a little look at the actual box itself as it's quite cool as well. Bit of cool packaging. We'll then rip this box open and see what the Project Scorpio Xbox One X is like in the flesh. I cannot wait to see what it's like. I've been so excited to get my hands on this and it's finally here. If you're excited, please smash that thumbs up button and let's see what's inside. Okay, so first off we have our box which is stealth black and it's also got the kind of pigments you can see at the side which are a nice kind of grey white colour. First thing that stands out is this shiny green Scorpio badge and the actual dots on the box are a bit of a throwback to the original Xbox. It looks like where the air vents used to be on the original one which is quite cool and you can see the nice little green logo shining away down the bottom there. Okay, you probably wondered what this number is at the top here and I'm going to tell you, 01 is for when the original Xbox was released, 05 is for the Xbox 360 in 2005, 10 is for 2010 when the Xbox 360 S and Kinect was released, 13 for 2013 and Xbox One and 17 for the Xbox One X which we're unboxing right now. I actually thought this was some kind of serial number because it's limited edition but obviously not and now you know. So you can show off to your friends with some awesome video game knowledge that they might not know. On the side of the box you can see there it's telling you it's one terabyte storage, 4K up to HD, HDR, it's an Xbox One and just tells you what's in the box which I'm not going to read out to you because we will see that when we actually get round to opening this bad boy up. What is quite cool is that this has an Ultra HD Blu-ray player which the PS4 Pro actually doesn't have and you can see there as well as Dolby Atmos support as well if you have an awesome surround sound setup. And this side of the box is pretty much identical to the side we just saw. I'll show you guys anyway and then we'll move on to the good stuff and see what's inside. Okay, first off we've got a little card here which is quite cool and it comes with a little Xbox Live Gold Pass and an Xbox Game Pass which is quite cool so that's the subscription game service where you pay a monthly fee and you get access to a whole bunch of games to download and play at your leisure and there's just the support address on the back if we have any problems so we can just throw that to the side and continue with this little box at the side which should hopefully hold the cool limited edition Project Scorpio pad. Um, so we'll get this side off first and up oh, there looks like a controller here which is very cool and a little icon telling us it is the controller. Do not drop it, do not break. So we'll carefully take this out and see what we have. I'm excited to see this after seeing all the promo shots and we've now finally got it in our hands. Da -da -da. Wow, 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 you can see it's a lovely paint job, it actually almost sparkles which looks really cool, the buttons are the nice black and grey and you can see the Project Scorpio logo running down the centre which is a lovely touch and the metal look Xbox button as well, the home button and the back nothing special just the usual, still battery powered Unfortunately, Microsoft get it sorted. Here we have the power cable. One of the cool things again for this being such a powerful machine. There's no power brick. It's all inside. So all you have is a plug and that is a UK plug. In case any of you are watching abroad and wonder what is this plug. Here we have the HDMI high speed cable that you'll need as well. If you are going to be plugging this in and wanting the full 4K experience, use the cable provided. And I know I was moaning about batteries for the controller, but at least they provide some. We are getting closer to the good stuff, and there's a strange flat little box here, which we are going to break open, which I think will be the stand, which is another 
part of their limited edition package. Usually the Xbox One does not come with a stand. And there you can see it there, pretty basic, bit of plastic and a little drawer on the back to show you how your machine clicks onto it. Which is pretty cool if you want to have your console vertical instead of horizontal, which is quite a cool throwback as well. Reminds me of my PlayStation 2, which I would always have sitting up vertically like a little skyscraper on my desk. Next, here is the main attraction, what you've all been waiting for. Finally we're getting to the machine and by god it is heavy. It is actually the smallest out of all the Xbox One X's. Does it make sense? There's only one Xbox One X. It's the smallest out of all the Xboxes. But it is actually the heaviest. It actually weighs 3.8 kilograms which is pretty hefty for such a small box. Which actually measures 11.8 inches by 9.4 inches by 2.3 inches if you're interested. Check it out. Hopefully, I don't drop it here. Let's see, this weighs a ton. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Wow. This looks way, way better in person. We'll get rid of that sticker in a minute. Don't you worry. There you can see the logo again, and that paint almost glistens a little bit under the light. It looks absolutely fantastic and then you can see all the pixelated dots as the colour merges from the really kind of dark grey over to a lighter grey kind of white at the other side where we have the Xbox logo which looks metallic which is very cool and you can see a little USB port at the front there wow I really like this this really really I think will look awesome a bit different from just the standard grey Xbox One X no doubt they'll probably bring out a white one in the near future as well, we've already got a white Xbox One S, so this is pretty cool and a bit different. And you can see the Xbox logo up on the top corner as well. Some of the technical stats, if you guys are interested in them, it is a 2.3 GHz 8 core AMD custom CPU. The GPU is an AMD Radon based graphics card clocked at 1172 MHz. It's got a lot of RAM on board, so that's a lot of memory. It's got 12 gigabytes of GDDR5 RAM, which is really fast and should really help load all these big 4K textures and allow for a lot of smooth gameplay. The storage size, as we said earlier, for your storing all your games is a one terabyte hard drive. It is a mechanical hard drive unfortunately, it's not an SSD which would be much better and much faster. However, Microsoft have said that this hard drive is I think 40% faster than the one in the original Xbox One. Um, any other things that probably interest you, it's a 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray disc drive which is included. It's got HDMI output and input ports as you'd expect, three USB 3.0 ports. A gigabit Ethernet and it's also got the networking card in it is 802.11ac dual band 5 gigahertz and 2.4 gigahertz which is good so if you've got a compatible router you should be able to get some really fast wireless speeds and power consumption if you're really interested is 245 watts one of the things that is really cool about this is how they've managed to keep this thing cool and it's actually cooled by something called a vapour chamber cooler which is a little, basically a little kind of container which holds a small amount of water and then apparently evaporates into steam when it gets too hot then when it cools down the steam reverts back into liquid in the system you see these things in high-end gaming PCs usually or high-end graphics cards but it apparently works really well, so it's pretty cool to see that included in a console. Um, the big difference here as well between this and the PS4 Pro, in case you're wondering, the CPU is obviously a little bit faster in the Project Scorpio on Xbox One X. Uh, the RAM, I think, will make a fair bit of difference. The Xbox One and the PS4 Pro both have eight gigabyte of RAM. The Xbox One X, as I said, has 12 gigs of RAM and the thing that's interesting here is Microsoft is saying that the games should be able to use up to 9 gigabytes of RAM 
and the remaining three gigabytes will be used for the operating system and to actually run the machine. So it is a pretty powerful little box. I cannot wait to plug it in and play some games, which I will be doing straight away. So let me know in the comments down below if you'd like to see some Xbox One X Project Scorpio gameplays and let me know what games you'd like to see. I'll try and get a hold of a list of all the games that are Xbox One X enhanced. If you're wondering what that is, now Xbox will put that on some of the games under the title and you will then know that it will be able to use the full power of the Xbox One X. Some of the games that do that already, um, Gears of War 4, funnily enough, even though it's an old one, will be able to do that. Forza Motorsport 7 and Super Lucky's Tale. And if you're interested in thinking, is that the only three games that can take advantage of this beast of a machine? No, there is apparently 162 Xbox One X enhanced games that will be available in the very near future. I'll try and grab a hold of that list and put it below in the description for you. Last thing I just really want to point out, and I'll be stating the obvious, but it's worth calling out to take advantage of the full power of this machine, you will need a 4K television. If you don't have a 4K TV, your games will still run smoother, they'll look potentially a little bit better, the menus will go a lot quicker, as will all the load times, but to get the real power and see the graphics looking as awesome and as crisp as they can be, you will need to purchase a 4K TV. One cool little easter egg on the side of the machine you can see, excuse my shaky hands, is it says hello from Seattle Xbox One X. Here's a little close up again of the cool Project Scorpio logo and on the side you'll see there is the magic numbers again of the release date of all the Xboxes so far. Apart from the Xbox One S I think. Strange but still a cool little touch. One other thing that's also worth noting is that even if the game is not enhanced for Xbox One X and it's just one of your older games you've got on Xbox One, it will still play on the Xbox One X. It should also run smoother, load faster, so some benefits to be had even in games that are not Xbox One X enhanced. Well my friends, I hope you've enjoyed this unboxing, it's been a good one, limited edition Project Scorpio Xbox One X, it's a mouthful and a half, however it is an awesome looking little machine, I can't wait to play it, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, if you did please leave the video a thumbs up, let me know in the comment section will you be picking up one of these, what do you think about it, would you rather have Xbox One S, or are you going to stick with your Playstation, your Switch, your PC, what? Ever machine is your machine of choice and remember to subscribe so you don't miss out on any more of our future videos we have plenty more awesome gaming content coming for you in the near future until the next video my friends we'll see you next time